Hi there, welcome to the Top Dog Tips YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be talking about dog muscle spasms and what you need to know and what to do. Before we get into that, please be sure to subscribe and like our YouTube channel. Also be sure to share the channel if you'll find the content informational, if you learn something new, please be sure to share the channel. That's how we continue to put out great content for you all. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, topdogtips.com. If you subscribe to the website using the link in the description below, you will receive a free ebook on 25 vet recommended homemade dog food recipes without further ado let's get into it so spasms in your dog's muscles may occur as just a localized issue for instance if a dog hurts their leg that same leg may experience some involuntary movement known as a muscle spasm these may also occur due to misfiring in the nervous system and particularly in the brain where voluntary and involuntary movement is controlled so conditions that cause muscle spasms are directly related to neurological disorders which often can cause seizures, which then that gets into a more serious issue. Both non-epileptic seizures and epileptic seizures in dogs are made up of many recurring muscle spasms, the root of which is based on electrical activity in the brain. However, muscle spasms can and do occur outside of seizures as well. When they do occur independently, it's typically a symptom of a less severe medical condition or health issue. So let's talk about the causes of of why a dog might have a muscle spasm. Number one, REM cycle twitching. This is obviously a harmless one. It's called also known as puppy dreams because research has proven that dogs dream. So they're probably just chasing a squirrel. Or if you suspect this is a light, is an adverse cause like seizure, attempt to wake your pet up carefully. If it isn't a seizure, they'll jolt right awake or they'll just continue to sleep. So typically during the REM cycle, your dog's deepest sleep is achieved. During this time, the animal's brain experiences a higher level activity, which could explain the twitching and the little leg tiny bark. So the second cause of muscle spasm is an injury. Like we said before, dogs, muscles, bones, veins, nerves, and cartilage, they all are part of a complex system. It's why, for example, muscles with coincide with joint problems, just as worn cartilage can lead to muscle atrophy. So when the dog experiences a damaged joint or muscle, the muscle surrounding it will cramp or stiffen, which can look like a spasm and can typically cause the dog to limp or change its gait. Additionally, head trauma, which affects the brain's ability to calibrate limb movement, could lead to dog muscle spasms. Third cause could be hypoglycemia. Although a rare side effect, low blood sugar and hypoglycemic dogs may cause muscle spasms and seizures. It's very uncommon, but sometimes diabetic dogs will experience muscle twitching and similar dog muscle spasms condition symptoms. The fourth cause could be overexertion. Like say a dog just plays way too much or runs a little too hard. Its muscles can suffer from heavy activity, lactic acid, naturally produced just like it does in, uh, uh, like in humans. From overexerted muscle tissue will build up and create soreness and cramps in the dog. Just as, you know, say you have a heavy leg day or let's say you have a hard workout at Orange Theory or something like that. You need to stay hydrated because there's a chance you could get a calf cramp or something like that in the middle of the night. So same, same exact thing. When your dog's muscles are fatigued, they will twitch, but it'll typically subside on its own and pretty quickly just make sure they're hydrated because you don't want your dog to get risk of severe dehydration or heat stroke, which are also associated with seizures. The fifth cause is toxicity, which is another word for just poisoning and is common in dogs as they tend to sniff out items that aren't intended for their consumption at all. Wobbling is a defining characteristic of toxicity if a dog ingested something that's toxic to it, but could be mistaken by pet owners to be dog muscle spasms. If it's not treated, poisoning in dogs can lead to kidney failure and nervous systems overactivity, which both can can cause seizures in dogs. The sixth cause is distemper. This is a well-known contagious virus that affects puppies and dogs without up-to-date vaccines and may result in symptoms like dog muscle spasms. Canine distemper can spread in various ways, making it extremely easy for an unaffected dog to become infected. The dog doesn't have to interact closely with an infected animal to contract the distemper virus either. So for this reason, dog hotels, rescues, and kennels always require up-to-date vaccinations of your dog. So even contact with a dog that is suffering like dogs bedding like say a dog is suffering from just temper and your dog comes in contact with its bedding or the food bowl, it can spread to your dog. An infected animal with a viral contagion is dangerous to other dogs, even before they begin to show symptoms. This virus affects the dog's nervous system and respiratory system symptoms, among other organs. In particular, the virus's attack on the canine's nervous system is what causes the seizures. It can lead to paralysis, dog, uh, and then spasms, just a transitional period before more serious symptoms appear. The seventh cause could be dystonia. I 
condition rarely talked about. It may be inherited or developed within dogs, and it's a severe neurological disorder. The most common recognizable symptom is chronic involuntary and sometimes disabling muscle spasms, and a dog with dystonia is likely to experience anxiety and depressive disorders often due to constant discomfort caused by the muscle twitching and contracting. So the eighth cause is CSS or canine stress syndrome. It's a neurological disorder that certain breeds are susceptible to like Labrador retrievers. It's an uncommon yet hereditary condition and may only show symptoms due to psychological stress, sometimes referred to as hypothermia syndrome in dogs. Studies have shown that over-exercising dogs can induce this syndrome and it can be successfully treated if done in time and aggressively. Canine stress syndrome symptoms include anxiety, hyperthermia, and involuntary spasms as well as seizures. So let's touch on some what your vet would do for muscle spasms. So if you're uncertain whether dog's muscle spasms are no more than isolated twitching, it's something you should contact your vet about immediately, especially seek an appointment if the spasms are constant and paired with vomiting and immobility. If epilepsy or any other neurological disorders are suspected, the vet and their staff will perform an EEG. So it's basically just scan of the dog's brain or a dog's brain activity, electric activity. If diagnosed with epilepsy, epilepsy, the vet will discuss, you know, certain type of drug therapy, like some form of anti-epileptic drug therapy, which seeks not to cure the disorder, but stabilize the dog and reduce their seizure threshold as much as possible, therefore allowing them to lead a pretty normal life. The Staff also might suspect that the muscle spasm is a result from poisoning and they'll give your dog injections to induce vomiting. Typically, they'll use a drug called apomorphine and they may also choose to utilize IV fluids to flush any toxicity from the dog's major organs. They also may do some other laboratory testing and they'll run blood work. So, you know, analysis of the urine, fecal matter, as well as a spinal fluid. If a limp is present or you share information of a recent fall or injuries, they'll take x-rays and CT scans. So if this episode is non-epileptic, they may prescribe an anti-convulsant medication to be taken for a trial period determining your dog's responsiveness to the drug. They'll also likely suggest a change in your dog's diet, replacing kibble full of chemicals and food dyes with an all-natural ingredient-based meal. Also, an elimination diet may be recommended. So let's say you decide to take care of the spasm at home. Let's talk about some ways you could do that. One way you could address a muscle spasm when your dog has it is to gently massage and pet your dog. Gentle pressure to a tight and inflamed muscle will help alleviate tenseness. Less tension, as long as this is not a serious muscle spasm. Less tension means muscle spasms are less likely to occur again. There are several pet massage techniques and types that you can utilize and we can link to the pet massage techniques in the description. So another option you can do is apply a cold compress. So just similar to humans, icing an injured muscle restricts blood vessels Muscles, helping ease inflammation, lowering the likelihood of muscle spasms. It's also very important when this does happen to not freak out and you need to remain calm and stay focused. So if your dog's experiencing a non-chronic muscle spasm or has been diagnosed with a seizure condition, it's important to note that they are often not conscious during these events. While it may be scary for you to witness, definitely you can find comfort in the fact that they don't have to experience firsthand mentally. Another comforting fact for a dog owner Owners is that uh, spasms and or seizures in dogs at the most it would last 60 to 80 seconds at the least it can last from 10 to 30 seconds dog seizures or muscle spasms lasting five minutes or longer are considered life-threatening and are rare although not ideal dogs suffering from conditions that may cause mild to severe muscle spasms are perfectly capable of living long happy lives when given the proper care in our medication so let's talk about how to prevent muscle spasms the first way you can do that is make sure sure your dog stays hydrated. Do not forget to always refill that water bowl, you know, in your busy day. I'm sure there's many of us pet owners out there that are remote. So we're working from home and sometimes time gets away from us. So just be sure to fill up your dog's water bowl when you're working from home. Another way you can do, uh, prevent muscle spasms is chaperoning playtime with other dogs. So making sure it just doesn't get too intense or just making sure that they don't overexert themselves or do something to where they would get injured. And then also knowing the signs is important. Knowing how an animal acts right before a seizure occurs will help you prepare for future dog muscle spasm attacks. The most common four signs are anxiousness, a staggering disorientation, excessive licking, and or pacing. Well, that's going to do it for us here.
here at topdogtips.com. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening today. Also, if you find our content perspective changing, if you learn something new, please be sure to share the channel. That's how we continue to grow the channel. With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.